Okay, here we go today. We're going to be just doing a little something, something. I want to make sure the volume's up. We're just going to do a little something here. Uh, we're going to start off with breathing. Inhale, exhale about four times. One more. So you want to inhale, exhale uh, about at least four to five times. And this is just a warm up. Uh, everybody does their workouts different. I'm just doing maybe like a half hour. I did already five days uh, so far. So this is actually number six. We're going to go to the left on the neck and just roll one, 12 times, two, three, just warming up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You have to be careful if you're not used to doing this. Right side is 12, two, three, it can make a person dizzy. Four, they're not used to it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And I'm going to roll the shoulders back as I stretch forward on the left foot 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Shake the arms because I've been working out with the weights earlier in the week. And go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now a good way to practice your stretching and blocking, which is defense at the same time, is to, I did right, I did left, forward. You can do it any direction you want on an angle. Long as you do it, it helps. Slow motion, standing here, left foot, stretching down and blocking down and blocking the head at the same time. And stretching the back, right foot, your boom, come back, high guard, or you can just stretch. You just do different things. Left foot's here, going up and down, open the person up, whichever way you see fit, and you just stretch at the same time. And you can go opposite, bang. And the reason why it's important not only to loosen up, it's to get you to be multidimensional. God forbid if you can't walk away, there's somebody in front of you and over here. It shows you how to move your harake, the mid, your core. So that's very important. So part of this, I'm going to do uh, 500 jumps. The rope is too, actually this place is too small for a rope. So I'm going to make it like I have a rope. I'm going to jump. 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, speed it up, 70, 80, 90, a hundred and you want to breathe in and out on that One more you notice boxers uh they control their breathing they before they whichever way they or they go, hoo, hoo. they're breathing out. Very important in working out, controls your oxygen, brain flow, nerves, a whole lot of stuff. It's all good. So you want to stretch your back more. 12, three, two, and three, and four, and five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. I want to stretch the back a lot because in the legs, flexibility is important. It helps to relax you. And it's also good. So we have 100 jumps so far. So we'll do the next set. I'll take my keys out of my pocket. Because <laughs> they make a lot of noise. But the next set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. It's two sets of 100. So we're going to do just simple defense. Guarding here, one, two. Simple. Left, right. Again, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Different directions. Right, left, right. Left, covering, right, left, it's also a strike, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, double up, left, right, right, left. Now that's left, right. Then right, left. Notice it's the back elbow first. That You can do it any way you want. I'm just doing it this way. Right, left. Then you switch. Left, right. Now you can switch to front elbow. Left, right. Left, right. Again, left, right. That's three. And switch. Right left, right, left, you move with it, boom, 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 and that also gives you this head movement, you see them do it in boxing, so we have two sets of 100 on the rope, uh, imaginary rope, and we're just doing simple covers with your boom, Right, front, back, front, back, or you can go back, front. Switching it, back, front. Boom, 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 boom. Then you wanna to get to the point where you go, Casey's going like this. That direction, boom, left, Right, left, right, move with it. You can do a circle, boom, boom, switching your feet. Back foot, you should be on the ball of your toes for easy maneuvering. This works the legs, it works the core, it also works the cardiovascular, even though I'm doing it slow. Boom, you can do it with a partner. I have no partner here, so you can start off slow, then let them come quick. And I suggest use people of different sizes and different weights because they have different speeds. Start off slow, you know, let them come slow. And then tell them, okay, add a little more attention to it. Put some stress in there, put some pressure on yourself. Let them come, bang, bang, real time. Let them come, you know, start with one guy and then take somebody of a different weight class, different strength class, use them, and then use both. Put one guy here, 
heavy guy, light guy, light guy, heavy, midweight, whichever, and just go, he throws. Bang, 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 bang. You want to get used to that. That's what it's for, in case you're surrounded. So we have two sets of 100 on the jump. We're going to do number three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seven. Eighty. 90, 100, look at the way I'm talking. I'm not going, breathing is controlled. That comes in time. The reason why I usually stress starting off blocking your head, because God forbid, guys in the street usually try to knock guys out and mug them. They go for the head nine times out of 10. So you want to do this now in a V-step formation. You can start with your left foot or your right. I'm going to block with my left, but step with my right on a slight angle. One and back. Two, it's actually one, one. Two, and back, two, and back. Three, and back. Four, and back. Five, and back. Five, and back. Six, and back. Six, and back. Seven, and back. Seven, and back. Go to 10, eight, and back. Eight and back, nine and back, nine and back. Notice I'm tucking my chin. Ten, I'll go twelve, eleven and back, eleven and back, and twelve and back, and twelve and back. Now you can't see it, but there's a table leg right here. I'm imagining that he's throwing his right hand to me and I'm going across. I'm going on a 45 degree angle out of the way of his right punch. I'm using my right foot to go forward, but I'm blocking with my left. If he throws a right, he's open for a right. If he throws a left, he's open for a left. Usually if somebody faces you with their right toe forward, you go opposite left foot. They go with the left foot forward, your opposite right foot. So that's why I do that that way. Of course, you can win the combat situation any foot forward, but it's best if he's coming to you on the right side, you stand left and fake him out by talking with your hands. So he comes to me with a right. You can't see the table ladies right here. I'm stepping across. I want to add something now. Strike in the eyes, and this is a block, but I'm also, I'm going to strike his eyes, and I'm coming up to his chin now. He backed up. I'm striking his eyes and coming up. See, he's, he's throwing right. He's open for right. My left foot's forward. They do the same thing in boxing. Coming across, springing, faking and talking. Oh, man, you know, chill, chill, chill. Non-telegraphic. Left foot, right foot forward, strike the eyes, stepping and sliding in right here. Bang. Now his chin is up. There's a lot you can do. His chin is up. I can strike the collarbone, hook him in the back of his neck, and pull him and strike his throat, crushing his windpipe. And that is a sweep. He's down. I'm the opposite side. I'm here. One, two, collarbone, pull him in, bang. Striking that windpipe, keeping the guard here, and he's this way now. He's actually this way. 
and I'm just taking my hand on his chin and wah, pulling him back and falling. It's all physics. So that's why it's important to practice blocking here on an angle, stepping and block. You're actually stepping and sliding in. Now you can open that up. Watch this. I'm back to my left foot forward. He's throwing his right. I'll do it slow. My right foot is moving. I'm striking the eyes to distract him, right? Now watch. I'm going to the stomach now. As I go forward, I'm going to his stomach. I stomach. He's bending down. I bump his chin. He's here. Now I take his head, drag him, roll, and go into his eyes. I've turned him around like this, and he's on his knees. And I'm pressing down with his head back this way, pressing down, pressure on his spine, and he's on his knees. He's like this now. He can't do anything. So we'll do that slow. And I remember, I got three sets of jumping already done. So I have two more sets to do. So his right foot is here. My left foot is forward. I'm making like I'm on the ball of my foot while I'm talking. Two steps back, in case there's a witness. He keeps coming. He comes within this range. I know he's serious. He's not backing off. So it's from here or talking like this. He won't even see what I'm doing. I do, I'm doing it slow. Strike the eyes, sliding in, bang to the stomach. Up, right? Swat his eyes, turn his head around and put him on his knees and dig into the eyes. You can extend his arm out and break that or whatever. So the opposite side is here, faking, strike the eyes, stomach, pull him up, bump him, and pull him back. Boom. That's why you do it slow. I'm open this door. It's getting hot. That's why you do this slow. Okay, we're going to do that again. Remember, we started off doing block. We're just coming here. Boom. A block in a strike. Bang. That's why it's good to practice with a partner when you have them. Boom. Boom. Now, if I take this light right here and make like this is the opponent, and I go eyes underneath his chin or eyes, stomach, bump, and turn this. See how I'm turning it? turning it like his head, turning it, and boom. So that's why you do it slow. All right, so I'm going to implement my other jumps. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. 20, 30, 40, 50. Now I'm going to pick it up. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100. Keep it moving. Your hands are here. Bop, 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 bop. Another simple solution to a problem. He's throwing right. This time you're going to go strike the eyes or just flash and chop down. You're chopping his radial nerve. You're nerving him now. Radial nerve controls these three fingers, the thumb, these two fingers. It comes here, goes around, and comes up the bi back of the bicep to the side of the neck. So you'll practice flashing, turning that hip down on the radial nerve, striking the neck, looping him on the back of his head like they do a lot in Muay Thai. They do it with two hands. You can do it with one. And his chin or stomach, chin, and down. That's something else. You're nerving him here. Flashing, nerving, boom. 
same hand. Take this brace's hand. Wham. There's a lot you can do. You go underneath him. Boom, his arm. Breaking him here. Boom. Turning him. Bang. Raking his eyes and sweeping him out. Same opposite. Boom, eyes flash. Strike the radial nerve. Come up to the side of the neck. I'm looping him. Stomach. Go up and down. I can turn him around. It's, it's so much you can do here. Same thing on this side. Coming here. Radial nerve. Grabbing his arm, striking. You can still go underneath. Boom, like I said before. Turning him this way. Bang. Raking the eyes. Boom. Because you're going to get him this way like this. Boom. Then you're going to turn. Rake his eyes and sweep him out and start stomping. And then watch your back. Always on the ball of your foot for the back. I have four sets of 100 already. So I'm going to do my lower stretch to the back. One, 12, two, three. And you can break this down. Four. And I'll show you what I mean. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do a lot with this. You can use a chair. And I often tell people this, if you don't have a partner, you can use a chair. This represents his right arm. I'll be right back. Now, see what I'm doing? This is a robe or a coat. This represents his right arm. He's coming at me. Use your imagination. I'm face, he's facing me right foot, I'm left foot. I take my left foot, go forward, flash his eyes. Now let's make like his punch is here. I flash his eyes and at the same time, I'm hitting his radial nerve. See right here, bang. Here's his head, here's his neck, boom. I'm shooting up and striking with the bone here. You can go chop on the side, or you can do here. If he's, if he's a big guy, more than likely, I will come right here. You know, give him all this bone. Bang, right to that radial nerve. Bang, again. So now, he's like this. This is his head. If I take him like this and go like that, he's now this way on his knees. He's backwards, so he can't do anything. Opposite side, the same thing. Flash the eyes on his this arm is here, I can pull it out. This is his left arm, and I'm hitting him with my left hand, striking down at that radio, boom. And right from there, that arm's going down, I wanna shoot in, wham! You can hit his throat here, you can hit the side of the neck, bam, like I just did, and just take him opposite and pull him down. So that's the importance of using your imagination and using, and I check my time, Using different props within the home, it's just like, and you'll see it when you do it. Now, you can do like Mike Tyson said, go beyond the shoulder of the opponent in boxing. We do the same thing in the arts. His right foot's forward, my left foot's here. He comes in, see, my hand is beyond his shoulder. Remember, he's going to be moving in. He's going to be moving in. So I'm here now. His blow is here. I got all this ribs, throat, bang, stomach, I, uppercut to the stomach. There's the block, elbow, bang. You can bang elbow, you can bang twist that, bang hip, bang, bang, bang. There's so much you can do, but you can go beyond the shoulder. He's here, he's coming in, he's gonna be coming in. Bang. Bang, twist, bang. Running out of this room with the video. Low on space, okay. Okay, we'll hold it right there. That's about 24 minutes. And I wanna get this last set in as I move this over, but this is just a little something, something. Of course, I'm gonna continue on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. That's actually 20. 
And we got 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I'm running out of this space, so I'll check you later. But whoa, before I go, looping like they do in Muay Thai, they do it with two hands, move the guy around. You can do that. Or if you're faking him and you're backing up faking, you can go to his eyes, grab him by the back of his neck and bang, bang his nose, still turn him around, flip him, whatever you want to do. The main thing is strike those eyes and collarbone, bang, bang. Opposite. Strike the eyes, collarbone, loop. Bang, bang. Or you can just loop. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. You can loop. Bang. Back of the neck. Bow. Elbow. Rake his foot or bang his knee out. And then rake him. So there you go. Work out, work hard.